guys, it's Fia and welcome back to my video of my collaboration with this artist called Kuma Show, and I'll link her channel in the description. Um, please go check her out because she did the amazing line art for this and she really 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 deserves more love. Um, she only has I think six subscribers at the moment but I want to try and see if she can get to at least 15. Um, but yeah, what I did is I printed out her line art that she sent me and then I used tracing paper to trace it and then put it on some watercolour paper because I really thought that watercolour would look really nice. But the thing is, once I put it on um, the watercolour paper, of course the line art changed and then when re-inking it with my waterproof inking pen, um, loads of the features changed and like the eyes don't look the same and some of like the clothing and everything and I felt really sad because I really wanted to colour her actual her actual line up because it looks so good but yeah um okay so my part of the collaboration was the colouring and it took so long I spent like most of the entire day just in my room finishing the colouring um, but yeah, if you haven't noticed, um, I've gone from using this really old camera to using my iPad to try and video it, which is using time-lapse instead, so tell me if you enjoy, like, time-lapse more, or, like, my previous videos using, like, stop and start kind of videoing. Um, but yeah, I think that the skin was coming out pretty good, and I really liked my hair. Um, but I think that the clothes looks kind of dull. I know, I tried to like put more detail on them, but it still came out kind of flat to me. So I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, when um, you come onto the background, I was trying to get it even better than my most popular video, which is of Shina at the moment. Um, and that has a background of a starry sky, and I thought that was like the best background I've ever done. And so what I tried to do with this video is I tried to get it even better than that. And I decided on doing um, a same kind of background from Akatsuki no Yona. So I had the mountains, but instead of a starry night sky, I decided to go with a sunset. Um, but still with the moon in the side, just because moons are cool. And then I also decided to put like a cherry blossom tree um, in the background as well. Um, and I really think that the blossom tree came out really well. I'm not sure about the lanterns. I mean, they're kind of just sitting there <laughs> and not doing much. And they don't really look like they're glowing or anything. Um, but yeah, when doing like the inking for that, it came out really sketchy because when I ink, I always kind of like do it really kind of sketchy like. So it never looks like a really finished kind of inking. It's always sketchy. Um, I th yeah, I think the blossom tree came out really, really well. Um, what I did is I kind of like tapped the kind of wet ink onto the blossom tree covering the people. And then I realised that that took way too long to do. And so I then just kind of just started blobbing paint onto it. And it actually turned out really, really nice. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I did the sunset and I started to put stars in the sky. And yeah, bye!